Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a OLED burning test on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I've had this day, uh, phone since basically release day uh, here in the UK. Um, I think it would have been probably late September uh, 2019 and it's basically been in use since day one. Um, as you will have seen from some of my videos on my channel, um, this phone has actually been used, pri well it is the primary source for both shooting all the videos on my channel as well as editing them in LumaFusion as well as and then uploading via YouTube app and then also changing thumbnails things like that through the YouTube studio app as well so with all of that usage obviously there's quite a lot of static content now as we've seen with other devices down the years, um, some of the early Samsung and OnePlus phones that adopted OLED technology, uh, even their static UI, so even the, the UI elements such as the, the arrow, the home button, things like that, at the bottom of the screen, your clock, things like that, they end up burning in. Now um, with this particular device, because of the usage that it goes through, um, so for example with LumaFusion, whenever you're editing a video video and then you come to export it what happens is you get a little circle progress uh, dial essentially um, and basically it fills up and with that um, what what tends to happen is because obviously if you're making a short video then it'll only be on screen for possibly a minute whereas a lot of my videos as you will have seen some of them are 45 minute videos so that means exporting a 45 minute video from Loom Fusion in 4k 60 generally that's going to take at least 45 minutes if not longer so because of that obviously it means that you've got static images right in the middle of the screen so with LumaFusion it actually ends up a, a circle right in the middle of the screen all the rest of the the uh, UI is black or, or dark uh, grey and then you have this one white kind of um, logo right in the middle where it's telling you the progress now what I tend to do just because obviously I'm not an idiot and I don't want to cause burning so whenever I'm doing uh, any type of exporting I'll basically turn the brightness all the way down there's two reasons for that obviously the first reason is to mitigate burning and the second reason is because obviously when the phone's exporting 4k 60 essentially it, it, it will get really hot so in order to try and save the battery save the phone um, and also obviously preserve battery life when I'm actually exporting I'll turn the brightness all the way down um, what I also do is I turn on auto lock so with this with Bloomer Fusion you can actually enable auto lock and after it's exported it'll, it'll then turn off so it's not left so for example sometimes I'll shoot a video late at night I'll then edit it and I'll set it on my wireless charger while it's exporting now I don't want to sit up all night waiting for it to finish so basically the auto lock does work for that now the thing where auto lock doesn't work unfortunately is with the YouTube app the YouTube app for some reason when you're actually uploading um, it will basically switch off after after whatever your your timeout is so 30 seconds a minute two minutes whatever whatever you set it to you'll, you'll basically lock the phone which means you then have to restart your your upload so with YouTube unfortunately you have to actually monitor it and basically as soon as it's finished uploading then you can actually close the app and do whatever you need to do or lock the phone turn it off whatever um, so with YouTube unfortunately you, you do have to monitor it and same thing again I literally just turn the brightness down now this particular test was actually done on full brightness. Now I very rarely ever use my phone on full brightness. The only time this phone ever hits full brightness is when I'm actually outdoors. Generally when I'm indoors, I, I won't feel the need to actually put this above. Probably I'd say maximum would probably be half and that's when I'm, I'm sat in my front room with curtains open essentially so you've got a lot of natural light shining in. Other than that, everywhere else in my house, when I'm at work, all these kind of scenarios, Generally, I'm gonna have probably between, uh, say, a quarter and a third uh, brightness. That's that's the kind of level I tend to set it on. And because of that, obviously, it's saving the panel. As you can see from this burning test so far, um, there's nothing on it. And you will see this. Obviously, you've got because of the the phone I'm recording this from. It was actually recorded use recorded using a iPhone uh, 6s uh, Plus and obviously because of that you've got a little diagonal banding that's showing up that's not actually on the screen that's something that the camera is actually doing because unfortunately that camera can only capture 4k 30 and basically if you record this on any device that can do 4k 60 you won't see those those horizontal or diagonal lines 
um, I did try to bring it in just here and see if there's anything obviously as you can see just pointing out the, the, the corners essentially where you've got all your static UI and as you can see there's nothing nothing on it that would be of uh, well you, you literally just can't see anything just wiping it because I actually thought there was a mark or something as it turned out obviously when it turned to the white screen I realized that it was actually a reflection of the the tripod that's what was actually showing on there so all clear all good <laughs>